Hello, and welcome to a new macro video. So, what I have to show today is something that I made for another upcoming macro, which is basically just um, <coughs> a few useful functions for uh, automatically building things using a macro. So, today I took now took care of getting the items from chests properly. So what I did is to assign, uh, to get, to assign IDs to chests and then allow the player uh, and then have a file in which I store in which the contents of um, a chest which has a specific ID. So for example I would be storing, okay, this has redstone slot ice and slot 2 and slot 3 and so on. So what I then do with that is to read it out and f find out how I can grab stuff from the chest. So if I now press the buttons I chose, it will basically t fully automatically take, uh, in this case it's 1200 iron blocks for me, but this works for anything that's in these chests. So <coughs> the way I did this is using just a few functions. So first of all I have the global variable inventory slot. This just specifies that I have absolutely no slots in my inventory blocked off already. Then I have chests read file. So this reads out the file in which contains the things that I have in the chests. So to be more precise that's this one. So yeah, quite lengthy already although it's only for three double chests but this can of course be expanded as far as you want. By the way, um, this thing needs to be built in the positive Z, uh, negative Z direction, and uh, you you have to st when starting you have to stand somewhere on this block in the middle here. It needs to be set up this way, so that should be fine for most people, anyways. So yeah. Um, oh, actually, I didn't show it. <laughs> Fail. Wrong screen. Uh, so yeah, this is a format. It's actually quite similar to the way Minecraft Saucer 2. But yeah, so this makes use of my debug screen reader as well as a library that I um, found, found and uh, that is basically able to convert this, this JSON into s an object that Autotkey can use. But I still have to do quite some stuff to actually make use of s this object. So what I need to do is to first of all uh, so this is a function that I use uh, here. So this basically just says it gives me the coordinates of the starting point with the diamond blocks. Um, then after that I have the function that opens a chest of a specific ID. Uh, so yeah, this is just using my get xyz and then it's rounding it to a specific value. So really simple actually. Um, anyway, so here I just ha oh shit, uh, undo. <laughs> um, I just get use these coordinates and open a chest of a specific fig value. So uh, this calculates its z position, its y position, as well as uh, the side which on w on which it's on. Um, then I get a new image. Um, so that I can walk to the specific block. Uh, so this is the coordinate, and this is the z value of that chest minus the start z value. Uh, I go there with the highest speed, so I'm sprinting, and I I don't even know what this three means right now. Uh, <laughs> oh my fucking god! I should know this. Ah, right. Um, the two is actually the effect. Um, the three is that I'm sprinting. So here I then have your, this basically tells me, okay, if side is one, then uh, you should turn to the your 90, otherwise to minus 90. And here I have the pitches that are dependent on the Y value. So basically I'm just turning something like this when I want to get to this chest, or if I want to get to that chest, I am turning there or something, so yeah. Then I just get another image, turn to set angles, and open the chest. Um, here I get the contents of all chests 
uh, edit, edit together. So uh, first of all, I specify that contents is an object. Um, then I go iterate through the list of chests, um, and then iterate through the key of each chest um, for it's through the chest um, in the object chests key chests for while its uh, length throughout while it for its length difficult to explain and then just um, set uh, have this counter here so this and this gives me the full ID uh, so I'm for example redstone would be redstone colon zero if I didn't mistype that whatever and uh, then it basically just adds the full ID in the object together to get the total in the end or it assigns the totally new ID when it doesn't have it yet um, here I read in the file so read in the file and here I also use the JSON library by, by the way this can all be downloaded with a new chest with a new ch setup thingy it's the same as my debug screen reader thingy only difference being that I'm also downloading the JSON reader and chest grabber macro thingies um, so yeah basically it's reading the file and at the end you could also save the file I'm not saving it right now because I don't want it to change at the moment because it's a pain to fix it again um, I would need to use um, a new uh, um, a filter or something for that and I haven't written that yet or I need to make wout write it or whatever I'm not so sure yet um, <laughs> then I have this this basically takes from a specific slot inside of the double chest so this would be slot um, 26, 27, 28, 29 uh, so it will take that and it will take a specific amount um, so it's gonna take from that slot and it's gonna take from this position here uh, as in the line uh, this is a little bit of w working with the scale again so that it works for any UI scale and any monitor size um, then I move the mouse to line and row um, so this basically means that I um, oh yeah that I just take these values and plug them in here so I move it to there then I click that out and uh, figure out how often I have to drop an item off again so for example for um, at the end when I got the iron blocks I w had 48 blocks so I had to click 16 times to get to 48 and uh, that I calculate here and then loop right click for that amount of time here I'm just doing basically a very similar thing um, just that I'm putting stuff into my inventory and this is the main take item thingy this is very complicated this basically combines everything then in the end so this takes the item with this specified name of this specified damage this specific amount from this um, array of chests so um, this first of all gets the uh, entirety of the chest contents and this gets the full name so that's from up here and then first of all it checks if you even have enough if you don't it will just tell you okay great uh, you ran out of this so yeah um, the, um, if you have it though, it will first of all create two objects, these two here, and this basically just stores in the two objects um, slot and chest ID um, the first items that you want to grab out of there. So if you so if you have iron in this chest, it will see okay, there's iron put that onto the list, put its slot onto the list and do that all the way through. Uh, once it has to end it will actually also find out uh, how many items you have to take the last time around. So this saves me on another object that I didn't want to create. 
so yeah basically it just removes the whole thingy or the whole um, number or it just uh, subtracts it if it's at the end and not taking uh, the entirety of the stack uh, here it's just appending stuff to the lists here it's checking whether or not the item is even the item you want and this are just the two iterators through the chest arrays um, then it sets two variables back and then iterates through um, the two lists that I told you about earlier, so chest ID and slots, um, to basically open the chest once you want to, and then it will loop through the chest until it's taken all the stuff uh, that's from that chest. Uh, so here you can see it's taking this amount. Um, if it's equal to length, so this means once uh, you've ended the macro, it will take last instead of 64. Um, here it's gonna take from a specific slot, then sleep, and put it into the inventory, and then uh, add something to the count, and then check if the array isn't done yet, because other because if it's done, then it will just break and also break this loop because this would be ending then it's um, so if this has been broken it will um, sleep for a bit and uh, exit the chest and it will be done basically so yeah that's just a very rough and quick explanation I tried rushing it a little because I didn't want another 30 minute video but oh well anyway um, I guess that's all there is to be explained at about this, I'm gonna see if I can get a proper, um, what's it called, filter done or something, but uh, yeah, anyways, 